All right, everyone. Welcome to a very weird stream of Lost Judgment. First of all, today is actually Monday the 20th of December 2021. We got a lot of festive fun going on on the streams recently. We've been doing Christmassy extra stuff, so you may notice some of that today. But in addition, I'm actually playing this as the main gameplay stream of the day. Three plus hours of Lost Judgment, which I almost never do. Okay, so I'm trying to make advancement. Reason being, I've been playing this since September. I need to finish this game, and I realized unless I really hunker down and play it more, I'm never going to get through these school side stories. So that's the focus today, is to get as far in the school side stories as possible. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the school side stories, and here we go. So as you can see, we've finished many of them now, and we're actually near the end of the robotics club. From what I'm going to understand, this photography club is also very short, all right? But the problem right now is this effing girls bar is going to be so time consuming so here's what i'm thinking there's three more stupid girls you have to do this with let's go do one now then we'll probably do like photography club then we'll go back to the girls bar and do the third one then we'll do the robotics club and then we'll go back and try to finish the girls bar i hate it it's boring but we got to do it all right do i have any uh, upgrade points to spend right now i have third uh, not many i'll save them up then all right, guys. Girls bar nonsense. Virtual fake dating. The other thing about it is it's not even virtual real dating. It's virtual virtual dating. Like in Japan, the girls bar slash hostess club culture. All right. Oh, anti-work, thank you for telling me. I see your message now. Thank you. Um. Anyway, um, this whole culture, I still don't understand it. I've never understood it in any Yakuza game I've played, and I don't understand it in Judgment. Why would you go to a bar or a club and pay money to a woman to pretend to like you and have a conversation with you, right? Now, people have tried explaining this to me many times and tried to justify it, and the justification is as follows. Well, in Japan, life is very different culturally than it is in the United States. In Japan, people have incredibly busy lives. A lot of people don't have time for actual meaningful personal relationships with people. So they like to have fake ones. They will actually go to a, a club, you know. Oh, shit! They'll actually go to a club, all right? And they will pay a woman to pretend to like them, all right? Look at this combo. Wow, that's amazing. I love the boxing shit. It's good, man. Get up. Who the fuck shot me? Oh, what's this? I have something in my hand. What is it? I picked up an item. I didn't even realize it. I picked up a or something. I picked up a plant. Am I just hitting it with items? Okay. So, anyone. Anyway. What I was saying is... Um, basically... There's a whole culture in Japan where people are so busy with their lives, like their jobs, they don't have time for real personal relationships with humans. I'm not kidding. Like, this is an exaggeration. They feel like, I don't have time for love. I don't have time for a meaningful relationship. So instead, what I do is every Friday or Saturday night after work, I'll go to a bar and I'll pay a girl to pretend to like me and have a conversation with me, even though she doesn't like me. And this really is not a real... It's not a real relationship at all. Really all right, what it is, is me having a fake conversation in exchange for money. This girl literally would not give me the time of day if I weren't sitting here paying her, okay? I, she just doesn't care about me. But, because it's her job to listen, essentially she's a paid ear. She listens to everything you have to say, and in a lot of cases flirting and pretending like they like you, when nothing will ever come of that. And the thing is, like, the guys in Japan know that. Most of them know that. If you if you take it further than, okay, I'm paying to just have a conversation that I know isn't meaningful or real. If you take it any further and you become stalkerish, you will think that's weird in Japan. They'll actually say, no, you can be far, you're some fucking lech or weirdo, right? So why do people do it then? Like, would you not, if you don't have time for a real relationship, why not, why fake it? Why pay it to fake it? Then just admit, I don't have time, whatever. All right, maybe at one point in my life, I will have time. That was amazing, by the way. Maybe at one point, I will have time in my life for a real relationship. Right now, I don't. So I'm not going to bother with it. I'll just do other shit. It's not like in Japan, they don't have other shit to do. 
right? <laughs> Tons of shit. Are you kidding? There's so many subcultures and, and hobbies and things to do in Japan that could be, be, you know, a good use of your time rather than, oh, every every weekend I go to a bar or a hostess club and I literally dump all my money into a fake relationship of a girl who's taking advantage. Essentially what I see it is, and this is, you could be, disagreement with me and that's okay. I see it as you're being taken advantage of. And by the way, supposedly it's women as well. Women will go to a, ho a host club where there's males doing this, okay? You know you're not gonna get a real relationship out of it, but people are still gonna act like you are. They're gonna flirt with you to take your money. And it's their job to lie to you deceive you and take your money and it's perfectly accepted in Japan as a part of their culture like to me that's just like fucking weird you know I really and it's funny because people say Lord X Lover and I says you know it's not a really that big of a deal to me it just doesn't make sense every game I play from these guys Ryuga Goto or whatever they're called Ryuga Gotoku however it says RGG the studio that makes Yakuza and Ju Lost Judgment they always have to put in the hostess club or some kind of virtual dating it's always in there And I always bring this up and I say, why is it in there? And everyone says, oh, because it's such a big part of Japanese culture. You don't understand. If they left it out, it would be like they're ignoring an actual part of Japanese culture that's present in their life. Why would you leave it out? And I'm like, well, I, just, I guess I just try, I'll try to understand it. And I, I just still can't. To me, there were times in my life when I was very busy with shit. I'll be honest with you guys. In the mid-2000s, I was so heavily into either working or competitive street fighter that's literally all i cared about i did not care about relationships there was a long time in my life in my 20s i was single purposely single i wasn't seeking a relationship with a woman because i was too busy with my own shit i didn't care about that at that time okay that was my choice did i go out to bars and pay women to pretend to be romantic with me because I didn't have time for it? No. I said, fuck it, I'll hold off on it then until later in my life when I so choose that I wanna make this something important in my life, then I'll focus on that, and I did. So I just, it blows my mind that they're like, we have to fake it if you can't make it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, your career is important, sure it is. Then focus on your career, that's your life. Why are you so embarrassed that you don't have a romantic relationship in your life that you have to go pay someone to fake it? I, don't, I just don't understand that. I, I, like I said, for me, a good 10, 15 years of my life there, going through the 2000s, I, w I didn't care about that shit at all. I wasn't seeking it or nothing. I just didn't give a crap, right? Um, so, to me, like, I don't, is it, is it a self control thing? Like, mentally, they just can't discipline themselves enough to say, I don't need that kind of relationship or interaction? I don't know. I don't get it. I still don't get it. Maybe I'm wired different. Because I've found a lot of times in my life, I just don't relate to a lot of things that other humans are either into or... You know what I'm saying? I've, I've always felt that I'm kind of like an outsider when it comes to a lot of things in life. I've never really felt like I belonged somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are like, man, I feel like I'm at home when I'm in a certain part, part of the country or whatever. I never really felt that. I always kind of felt like I was out of place or like I'm really different from everyone else. Maybe my head is just wired different. I don't know. But I just totally don't get it. And so when people say to me... Oh, why is this girls club a big deal? Because it's stupid. It's boring. It's dumb. I would never in my life pay a dollar to a person to fake like they like me. No, seriously. People say this to me. Have you ever been to a strip club? No. No. Why would I? What's the point? You don't get anything out of it. You're wasting your fucking money. What are you doing? It's, I, don't, I just don't understand it. Mitch has tipped me five dollars. He says, "You know, I'm happy seeing you play Judgment on the early stream. I can never catch your later one. I can't wait to see your reaction to the Professor mission at the end. I, I can't wait to get to it. I, I'm going to start right now because now I'm gabbing too long and I'm delaying the inevitable. If you can't tell, I was delaying doing this because I don't want to do it. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> but now I have to do it. So let's get this over with." Jane says, "Do you think T-Rex was the Godzilla of dinosaurs? I mean." God, actually, I would say Godzilla was the T-Rex of kaiju monsters. This goes the other way. Okay. What about mas okay? What about massage parlors? Says Sensei Fry. Okay. If you're going to the massage parlor to get what you're really going there for, a physical massage that makes you feel relaxed and better and relieves your muscle tension, then fine. If you're going to a massage parlor to get someone to suck your dick. Ugh. All right, 
So Emily Chan is just sitting around. That's an unusual sight. Time to talk to her. Emily Chan. Hey, Emily Chan. Uh. Huh? You came back? Oh, so you remember me. <clears throat> Nakata! Of course. You're Nakata, right? <laughs> yes. Nah. Uh, nope, not even close. It's Yagami. Hmm. Right, uh, you have one of those hard-to-remember names. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard. That's it. I'm changing my name to Max Power. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, can I call you Nakata? <laughs> um. Oh, why Nakata? Because that's my dog's name, and you totally remind me of Nakata. Because that's my dog's name. Fuck you! What the fuck? You remind me of my dog? I'd be like, you fucking bitch. The fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> okay, anyway. Your dog, gotta say, Nakata's a pretty unique name. Nakata, sh shake. I'm not a dog. Ah ha 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 ha. You're pretty funny, Nakata. Wait a minute. Is she just really stupid? Is she supposed to be like a fucking airhead? Like, there's nothing between the ears, you know what I mean? For rank? Big sign pointing in there? Maybe. Maybe she's just that dumb. She actually thinks that making a joke about you being her dog is funny, and she's laughing, she's cracking herself up. Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> Think so? Yup. Okay, uh, break's over. Later, Nakata. Wow. Congratulations, Yagami-san. You've made another step forward. Oh, yeah. Another step off the fucking ledge. Huh? How's that a step forward? Emily Chan gave you a nickname. That's huge. Huh. Oh, really? Absolutely. But you still got work to do before crossing that bridge. Just stay vigilant or she'll drop you like a hat. You can win over Emily Chan by talking to her as often as you can. You know, invest a little time and money. I've watched many take up the challenge and fall to the wayside. Oh. Interesting. Then I'll be sure to take my time and enjoy the whole girls bar thing. Aha! I see. One of those born playboys. Oh my god. Maybe you're the one who can save Emily Chan. Huh? Wait, save her from what? This fucking game. Will the witness of the Night City... Wait, will the goddess of the Night City cast her smile upon you? With that, I take my lead. <coughs> oh my god. That was pretty heavy. Heavy... Heavy like a big shit. Yeah, it was heavy. Oh, do we talk to a new girl now? I think we do. A yaha? A yaha. <laughs> oh, no. Was that her voice? Welcome, sir. This is your first time. What do I call you? It's me. Call me Yagami. No, that, no, that's her voice? Pleased to meet you, Yagami-san. You could call me Ayaha. Yeah. Pleasure's all mine, Ayaha-chan. All right, let's celebrate this beautiful new friendship. Clink, clink. Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> what, you live under a rock or something? It means cheers, you geezer. Raise your glass. <laughs> oh. Clink, clink, yeah. Clink, clink. Oh, clink, clink. This is gonna fucking stink. Yagami -san. So you go out for drinks often, Yagami san? Hmm. There's a local place I like to pop into, but in Yokohama, not so much. Aw, oh, lame. Such a waste. Are you a big drinker, Ayaha chan? Of ah. course. Drinking with friends is like what I'm all about. 
I've been known to get a little rowdy at clubs too, and I drink at home all the time. <sighs> oh yeah, and there's nothing like drinking on the road in Kitahama while staring out at the ocean. Not to mention, I'm always down to flirt, you know? Ugh. I see. If you love drinking that much, this might actually be the perfect job for you. <laughs> totally. As a matter of fact, I'm in charge of the cocktails at this place. Me and the girls think I'm all up together. Oh. Wow, so you're behind all that, Ayaha-chan. It's a blast. I get to make up drinks with my favorite pals, and then we just party. We all get super excited when anyone comes up with a really cute cocktail. It's so awesome. It's like, is this for real? I get to have a plan to, I get to, I get to have the best work friends and we all laugh and cry and make amazing memories together. It'll be crazy to pass that up. You know, it's exactly the mentality I had when I used to make content with John Rambo or Howard or those guys. We would have these little dinky, you never saw it. We were always having these little girly cocktails and we'd be sipping and go, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, it's the best time to be with friends and be filming and make fun and make money. Wow, we're working. It's fabulous. Oh, what a time of life that was for me. We're even planning a trip together next spring. There you go. I went on many trips with those guys. <laughs> ha ha ha. Sounds like you have a uh, youthful spirit. Gotta give your best life. Anyway, let's start getting back into gear. Clink, clink. Modestly KP, Vibin KP, Super Grooving KP. What the fuck is this? What the? I don't know what this means. What is this? When is this part? This wasn't part of it before. Modestly Vibing or Super Grooving. I guess we're going to be Super Grooving. <laughs> clink, clink. Woo! <laughs> Ha ha, you're pretty cool to be around. I'm digging the vibes that you bring. Drinks are on me tonight. Yay. <laughs> oh, seriously? Well, all right. That's it from now on. We're buddies, Yagami-san. Wait, wait a minute. She's paying for the drinks? So you went to a girl's bar where the entirety of the purpose of the bar operating is that men come in and they pay for the drinks that are incredibly overpriced to have conversation with girls and get flirting with them, even though we know that there will not be anything coming of it. It's not a real relationship. It's a virtual relationship, paid for relationship. But now you're there and she says, the drinks are on me. So actually, you're, the business will be making no money on her being there tonight. Seems like a way to go out of business quick, doesn't it? Oh, damn it. I drank too much. <laughs> oh boy. So now we gotta do it, right? Here we go. So here we go. What are you having? What are we having? What so what have we got? The here? prima flower was the one that the first girl liked. I think she would like maybe dreamy berry. What do you think? Dreamy berry? What should I get? Now I'm Let's hammered. Oh, that voice. Cheers. Oh, my God. Can you go to the girls' bar with earplugs in? All right. Let's get the party started. Oh, yeah. What's amazing is... Ugh. Hero Punch? Hero Punch was the one for her that's better? Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, so I want to say what I want to say. I have what I want to say in my head, but it won't come out because you're drunk because you're an idiot. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> hey, do you like these theme park jogging cells? We all went to one together the other day, and it was a total blast. So I think you're a... I think you're silly to work at a place where everyone gets along. Oh, I think you're lucky. To work at a place where everyone gets along. So I think you're lucky to work at a place, which is X, where everyone gets along. Okay. I'm really happy to be working here. Well, 
I got a little wild when Mew started uh, ch chasing one of the mascots and ran off somewhere. Okay. So, you're always here by yourself. What kind of people do you usually hang out with? Friends? Coworkers? So, I'm not... I'll go out drinking with my workmates from time to time. So I'll go out drinking with my workmates from time to time. Okay. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. All right, she says you should bring them there sometimes. Okay. So we maxed it already. That was the first stage of this bullshit. Okay. Am I cheating? No, Jasper's in front of the TV, so I have to pause so I can look over here. I'm trying to read from my computer monitor because I told you guys Jasper keeps blocking the TV. And if I bother him, he's going to think he gets attention. So I'm not going to bother him. I'm going to keep playing, but I have to like, kind of pause and look around to see the answers on the screen because I can't see on my regular TV. He's blocking it. So, all right. So she wants to do it again and blah, 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 blah. So I got to leave. I got to fight off the... Uh, Fight off the, the, the drunkenness I'll be back. in a fight and then come right back. Ugh. So we gotta find some enemies to fight. We got this liquor. You should not be skateboarding after a few drinks. This is a bad choice. It's a very irresponsible choice of Yagami san here. He fell. He was so drunk, he fell. Uh, I need to find enemies. There's no enemies around right now. What's up with that? Usually there are. Here we go. <clears throat> he fell again. He's so drunk. So originally, snake style was my favorite. I actually think boxing's my favorite now. I think boxing is my favorite. You get these quick charge moves that break their guard. If you charge with the with the uppercut, it juggles them, and you can do like a Tekken juggle, right? Oh wait a minute, am I not drunk enough to use the drunken monk thing? Oh wait, I I, I fucked up. I was supposed to do it and I didn't. I was I wanted to. <laughs> I like the boxing so much that I got wrapped up in the boxing and then I didn't uh, I didn't use my drunken monk ability. Oops. Alright, I need to do another fight. I see people around the corner here. When was the last time I listened to Queen? Oh, probably if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember. I think it was a couple weeks ago. We had a kind of a stay-at-home day. Where we didn't really go out and do much, but I went out and, and did like the errands and stuff for the week. And when I did, I turned on the radio and I remember Queen was playing on the radio. I think it was another one bites the dust. Higher level of drunken, because it's actually not giving me the option for the drunken monk ability. It must be uh, we have to do like five or six or higher or something. So what I just did there? I did the counter move. Watch this combo. Damn, you went ape shit. I also seem to be, like, gaining my meter, my EX meter, much faster now. I think what it is is I bought a bunch of the upgrades. So I actually think that now I'm actually uh, doing it way better. Oh, if I fight, I'm almost done with the drunkenness. I can go back in a second. What was my opinion on Freddie Mercury? He was a great singer and a great showman. I actually don't know anything about him outside of that. I know there's, like, documentaries about him and shit, but I've never seen any of them. There it is, the counterpoint. What you do is when they're attacking, you hold left bumper, and then you either press X or Y, and you do a counter hit punch. That, uh, that'll just strike back in the middle of your attack. It's really useful. Am I playing Elden Ring? Of course I'm playing Elden Ring when I release it. Absolutely freaking one of my most anticipated games of next year. Really, guys? 
Ah, that's right. So Randy Disher says, I voted for Val Hello. Uh, I almost said jalapeno food. I voted for Filipino food. For those who don't know, the poll for the type of cuisine that I will be eating um, during the live episode of Feasting with the King on my Christmas marathon is coming through is now live on DSP Gaming. It's on the main channel page, FYI. There you go. Look at this combo. I love this combo. Oh, 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 did you try to strike me? Damn, they're getting destroyed, dude. The boxing is too good. So, yes, so the, the poll is live. It's on the main channel page of this channel, DSP Gaming, under the community tab. And the options are Filipino food, Thai food, or Vietnamese food. And I'm excited to try any of them. You know, I've... I've very rarely had any of those. And in the case of Filipino food, I've never had it. But in the case of the others, I have had them at least once. But I've never really had too much variety in the cuisine. I've usually, like, for example, Vietnamese food, I've only had pho. That's it. I've never had anything but pho. So I actually don't know anything else about the cuisine. So I'm to try. Yo, he picked up his friend! Did you see that? I've never seen that before. He picked up his buddy and tossed him. Was that accidental? Did he not mean to do that? These guys got destroyed. What a waste. Yeah, so in the case of, you know, Vietnamese food, I've only had uh, pho. That's it. I've never ate anything else from Vietnamese cuisine. In the case of Thai food, I've had, like, pad Thai once. I've had this garlic chicken once, like garlic crispy chicken. And then I had this fish, this unique fish many years ago. Like, one of the first things I actually got when I moved here is I went to a Thai restaurant and I had this unique fish dish. That was really good. But I very rarely had th uh, Thai food. And then, like I said, Filipino, I never had it at all. So I don't even know what it would be like. <laughs> okay. Change the thumbnail. It's shocking. The thumbnail of what? What are you talking about? Oh my god. There we go. Yo, her voice is so bad. Her voice what is the most obnoxious get? thing ever. Alright, so if someone said Hero Punch is the right one, alright, we'll give it a shot. Hero Punch. Oh, my it is, because look, you went up already. So that was the correct drink. Thank you for the help there. Okay. Now we're talking. By the way, isn't it funny? I said at the beginning of this stream, I said what's going to happen is as I start playing this game and they, people are seeing this shit, the tennis is going to go down and uh, support's going to completely freeze and be non-existent. Since I started playing and you guys saw this shit, we've lost about 50 viewers. We had no tips, no super chats. <laughs> it's just, I knew it. I knew this shit would kill it. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Oh, God. Get the party started. Yeah. So, <clears throat> about the other day. About the other day. It was much better because I didn't know you yet. I didn't have to hear your shit. Hmm. <laughs> your terrible voice. That sounds like someone took a needle and scraped it across a chalkboard while someone was playing a violin at point blank into my ear while a car horn was blazing in the other eardrum. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay, so there was a kid. No, there was this lost kid in front of the bar the other day. Okay. Wow, I missed the part where that's my problem. Just became a channel member. Thank you very much for the membership. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining. Um, so, this place isn't exactly the safest part of town, you know? So I wouldn't just leave the kid. We went to go look for the mom. We ended up finding her. and was so relieved to see them back together. Okay, so... That was kind of you spending your or taking your time to help a lost kid. So that was kind of you taking your time to help a lost kid. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, now I'm so embarrassed. Also, the mom happened to be a classmate of mine. Surprise reunion. How exciting. The other day, Haruko and I went out for drinks after work, and a girl can seriously hold her liquor. 
I never thought anyone would drink me under the table. Anyway, what about you, Yagami-san? Are you a man that can handle his hooch? Okay. So you say, sure, I'm pretty. Wait, no, sure, I'm pretty? No. I'm pretty sure I can handle my liquor. So I'm pretty sure I can handle my liquor. All right. <laughs> So, let's find out who's stronger. Then whoever wins gets a final showdown with Haruko, the current champ. I will not lose this. All right. Looks like I have to do one more time to unlock her first side story. We can do it right now. Hero punch again. What have we got here? Want to try this? Cheers. Bottoms up! <laughs> feel it. Holy fuck! Do they not test the girls before they fucking get hired here? Like, <laughs> yikes! That is That's a bad I mean. voice. Like, okay, hold on. I love my wife's voice. I think my wife's voice is soothing. It's cute at times. It's beautiful at others. When my wife talks, or my wife sings, or my wife hums, or does anything, I, it's very pleasant to me. You know? I can't imagine being attracted to someone who you hate their voice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine that? There's someone who you find physically attractive, you like the person, they're a nice person, they have great interests, but then they talk and it's like... <laughs> every time they speak. Would that not ruin it for you? Wow. Uh -uh. Hmm. Getting kind of tipsy. I know what I want to say in my head, but. So, by the way, I started weight training recently. <laughs> what? You started weight training recently? You look like you could barely lift a fork. Look at you. <laughs> I started weight training recently. Okay. Ugh. Suspend the disbelief. I started weight... I started weight training recently. The only problem is my muscles get sore real quick. It's because you don't have any muscles. You actually have to build them. Do you work out, Yagami-san? Oh my god. Okay. Now that you mention it... I exercise on a regular basis. Hey. Andrew has done a super chat. Thank you for super chat in like a long time. He says, Lost Judgment is interrupted by Japanese simp simulator. Exactly. I mean, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate the super chat and the support. Hoy. Okay. Wait, I, I didn't even read what she said after that. Oh, what a shame. I missed it. It's gotten so cold lately, hasn't it? I could go for some hot pot. Extra spicy, like a kimchi hot pot. I've had hot pot before, okay? Hot pot is delicious, but annoying. Because you have to cook your own food. When I go out, I kind of think the reason I'm paying at a restaurant is so that someone could prepare a meal for me and present it to me so I can eat it. My idea of a good meal is not to go out and pay for a meal that then you have to cook yourself. You see, that's annoying to me. If I'm hungry, I want to eat right now. So, hot pot's good, but a little annoying. Now, I've never had kimchi. The whole idea of fermented cabbage doesn't sound great to me. It sounds like it's pretty gross. But then again, a lot of people seem to like it. So maybe it's something I'm missing. I don't know. Zoya did a super chat. that cat loves you despite your voice. Thank you very much, Zoya, for the super chat. I will permanently ban you now. Happy holidays. <laughs> Uh, Bernie did a super chat and says she's cute though not this is not a real wait it's not a real good job huh it's not a real good job what the fuck does that mean I have no idea thank you Bernie for the super chat wait alright anyway it's gotten so cold lately hasn't it I could go for hot pot extra spicy like a kimchi pot 
What kind of pot do you like, Yakimi-san? Let's see. I prefer hot porn. I prefer hot poop. No, I prefer hot pot with simple ingredients and a light broth. <laughs> he prefers light poop and porn <laughs> in his hot pot. Ugh. Oh! Drop the turd right in the hot pot. All right, Yosanabe is great. When you add a little seafood, amazing. We should have a hot pot party one day. Nothing like good vibes and good food. All right, anything to keep you, keep your mouth full of food so I don't have to hear you talk sounds good to me. All right. Holy cow, I had a great time. Let's chat again. It looks like we've unlocked the first mission for her. Nice, got her into it. Oh, yeah. Ayaha-chan. No, we're not doing this. We already unlocked it. What so what I we'll get? do is we'll leave. Maybe not. And if you, I think you go outside, you come back in, then it triggers the mission. I think. Okay. Have I ever dated some, someone again. who had an annoying voice? Honestly, no. I'm not. I, don't, I like I said. I think that would honestly be a deal breaker for me. What well, I can't, I can't put up with that shit. Like I said, I, you gotta be someone who you enjoy being with for various reasons, and one of them has, you know, you're not annoyed constantly. If the voice is like, you know. Putting a cheese grater to your eardrum is fucking. What are you gonna do? Yagami <laughs> Carlito, Carlito's back, baby. Just said, is there any way to actually kiss the girls, or is it just talk? I don't know. We'll have to call Sebastian from Little Mermaid to say, "You got to fight it now. You got to kiss the girl. Whoa, whoa. You want to give the the drinks." And then she stinks, and then you kiss the girls. What the fuck? It's a video game. Why do you want to kiss the girls? Leave your house. Okay, Yagami-san, welcome. I'm totally sorry, Yagami-san. We're kind of packed today, so I can't chat one-on-one. -on -one. What's that? Hey, Kawaguchi, it's the captain. What was it again? Captain Cop, a legendary to tokusatsu show. The rear henshin stick was for sale at a pawn shop in the town over. Captain Cock. That sounds familiar. Was that pre in a previous judgment? I don't know. Only 150,000 yen? My bonus wasn't much this year, so I couldn't afford it. Some kind of... Are you some kind of dumb kid? What the hell are you talking about? This henshin stuff at your age. You gotta watch Captain Cop, Sakamoto-san. It's all online. This is why you never see results at work. You think someone with the mind of a child can actually run a business? Huh. What do you guys think? Welcome to DSP Gaming, by the way. Uh, this has nothing to do with my work. I'm talking about my hobbies. Why do you feel the need to lecture me? Hey, you, youngin. Huh? Huh, me? You think Kawaguchi's full of shit? He's obsessed with the kid show and is getting himself worked up over a toy. Um... Uh, I don't really know what to say about that. A person's character comes through in their work. That's why you shouldn't have a hobby you're embarrassed of, right? Oh, yeah. I'm totally not embarrassed of what I'm doing right now on stream. Huh. <clears throat> uh. Oh, come on, Sakamoto-san. Don't involve Yagami-san in your weird nonsense. But Kawaguchi still watches a kid's show. If you want to fit into society, you have to watch period dramas. Heck, even newer dramas will do. Then you can strike up real conversations with our clients. Not interested. I'm not about to change my hobbies because of work. Excuse me? Kawaguchi, you little... You call yourself a businessman? And uh, A man of business always puts his clients first and... <laughs> now we're just going in circles. I've had enough. Come on, don't argue here. You're killing the mood for everyone. Jeez. Hey now, no fighting. To each his own, am I right? Of course I am. Now, click, click. Well, if you say so, Ayahachan. Ayahachan. Who cares? <laughs> you're off the clock. When you're here, whoever has the most fun wins. Now let's get this party started. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Ayahachan managed to defuse that situation before it blew up into a fight. Random fandom. Side case. Okay. Carlos, I'll see you later. Thanks for chilling with me, man. Take care, Yaha-chan. I had lots of fun today. I'll be back soon. Hey, Yaha-chan, that Captain Cop stick is a secret, okay? If another fan finds out, they might swoop it up. <laughs> what even? Don't you worry. I, like, totally don't even care about it. See you later, then. 
You really saved the day, Yaha-chan. I wasn't sure how that was going to end up, but they had fun in the end. I mean, like, if you're here to drink, then don't kill the mood, you know? What's the point of life if you don't enjoy it? I guess so. Well, yeah, I guess. I'm a real party person. I can't stand it when people don't get along. That's why I, like, treasure the friends that I can drink with and have fun. Huh. That's so? A party person, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, anyway, since it's just the two of us now, how about a little drink? Yeah. Sure, I could go for another. <clears throat> so here we go again. Sensei Pride said if Sega sponsored you but only did a promotional video at a hostess club, would you do it? If they allow me to actually act as myself and joke about it, yeah, I would, actually. I would do a silly video making fun of the hostess club constantly. But <clears throat> okay. Clink, clink. You have become better friends with the Yaha. So, we're up to the next level of drinking. Oh, we're at level 9. Did you see that? Went from level 4 to level 9. Now we gotta go fight it off. Yeah, we gotta go fight this off right now. Um, where can we go to fight this off? We gotta fight some assholes. Oh, I can't even walk. I seriously can't even walk at all. He is totally a wobbly. Yo, yeah. Hey, let's go fight. Oh, shit. Here we go. Whoops. Bonk. I love this. Bonk. Oh, what a nice spinning headbutt. I like this. He feels no pain. Normally a headbutt would hurt a lot, but not when you're drunk as shit. Time for Rapid Lunch Combos of Legend. There we go, and boom. Rubba, rubba, rubba. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Beautiful. Beautiful combos. I love it. And stay down. And as you can see, that took away all my drunkenness. We can go right back to the bar and continue with this terrible garbage mission. All right. Isn't that how it really works? You go to a bar, you completely shit face drunk. You leave the bar, you beat the fuck out of people in the middle of the street, and you lose all your drunkenness, you go right back to the bar and keep drinking. That would be pretty interesting if that's how it worked in real oh, life. <clears throat> Alright, continue on here. Here we go again, hero punch. Oh, my health back up hero punch as well. Let's have a drink together. Ooh. Cheers. Ooh, terrible voice. Now we're talking. It's like someone stepped on a bat. It's like <laughs> a sonic sound wave to you know, rupture your eardrum. All right, here we go. So, about Yikes. the other day. Here we go again with this shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please stop. Hmm. <clears throat> Getting kind of tipsy. I know what I want to say in my head, but <clears throat> here we go again. Woo! Really threw him back today. I may have mentioned this, but the cocktails we serve here are Girls by Originals. You'll only find them here. I grabbed the helm and made them on my own. Pretty amazing. No. You are amazing. Ayaha chan. It takes real skill to craft a nutritious, no, craft delicious drink. There you go. I'm a fan of carbonated cocktails myself. I should wrangle up the crew so we can come up with some new ones. You're always by yourself. See, here we go again. It's the same one from before. This is what I mean. They couldn't even make enough unique dialogue options that you could get through the mission without repeating yourself. It's the same one from fucking before. So, I'll go out drinking with my workmates from time to time. Which we already fucking said. Alright, that's done. Oh, come on, I still gotta do this like another two times or some shit. Alright, level two, we can do it again. Throw a fucking punch. What should I do? You a nice fucking Hawaiian Wanna punch. Wanna try this? You ever seen those commercials? Yeah, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? You fucking punch her right in the face across the bar. Boom! I'm starting to feel it. Take her right out. Okay. Ugh. 
This is so bad. What's okay. amazing? Hopefully, is... this is the last time for her. Then we can do another another kind of uh, mission. <laughs> uh, System Thirty Two says, "What makes you think she doesn't fake her voice while mm. she's at work?" A lot of Japanese men, especially older, older like women with younger, innocent voices. Dude, there's no fucking way she's faking this voice. Can you imagine faking this voice? Faking that voice. Just purposely creating that voice. Thinking there's another human on this planet that would actually like that. No fucking way you could fake a voice that bad. You know what I mean? It's gotten so cold. Here we go again. The hot pot. So the poop in the pot. I prefer hot poop with sinful ingredients and a lighted cigarette. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Same fucking shit. The other day, Haruko and I went out for drinks after work and that girl could hear it. Here we go again. So, I'm pretty sure I can handle my liquor. <laughs> he wants to manhandle his licorice. I'm pretty sure I can hand handle my licorice, baby. <laughs> what? Oh. Makes, makes the phrase Twiddlers and Mixed Wilds happy as a whole new meaning now. But anyway. All right. Uh, holy cow, I had a great time. Let's, let's chat again. I think this is it. Did we max it? I think we maxed the relationship. I wasn't paying attention, but I think we might have. So hold on. Tony Pepperoni says I might buy this game. You, you, I think you'll like it. Despite the girls' bar, I think you might like the game. I like the game. So let's see if we go back in, if that's the end of it, and we can actually do the quest now. Okay. Nuno Gloop says, oh, fun, riveting gameplay. I'm, I'm glad you feel that way, Nuno Gloop. <clears throat> yeah, look, we did it. Nice. <clears throat> By the way, is Ayaha-chan here today? Hi. Nope. She took the train out today. She seemed pretty excited. Wonder what for. <clears throat> I guess Ayaha-chan's out today. If she took the train, then maybe I can find her near the station. I should look around Janai Station when I'm feeling up to it. Why would I do that? You don't want to be as far away from her as possible. You don't want to fucking go find her. I'll stop by again. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we're going to the bar. The bar, excuse me. Oh, God. We're going to the train station. Uh, where would that be? Where the hell is the train station? Why can't I, f I find it? Here it is. That's why I couldn't find it because this other random... It was blocking it. You see that? Popo. Popo was blocking it so I couldn't see it. Now I found it. Okay, good. This is better than Yakuza 7. There are different kinds of games. Um, Yakuza 7 having the traditional grindy style JRPG gameplay. While this game how oh shit, I'm wobbly. While this game has action-based gameplay like the previous Yakuza games. I would say it's it's close to Yakuza 7. I don't know, uh, no, I'm gonna say it overall it's as, as much as I like Yakuza 7 last year. I haven't finished the game. We'll see. Do I have a leather jacket? Yes I do. It's a leather bomber jacket. It's black, all black, leather. Why do you ask, Jeremy? If only this game had music playing while you wandered the open city like GTA. The right now it was playing Japanese Boy, I think it would be perfect for the situation. Oh shit. The mission is right here, but I gotta fuck these guys up first. Alright, here we go. Oh, you fucker, he knocked me down, but I immediately got a counterattack. Do I have a leather jacket and skinny jeans? I do not own skinny jeans. I have regular jeans. A little bit looser. I don't like skinny jeans. Anything tight to my balls, I don't enjoy. I like airing of the balls. Oh, la, 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 la. I love that. Oh, ho, ho. Damn, the boxing is good. Really, guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. That thing could run for eight miles? Yes, but not without taking a break. I definitely need a break. Here we go. Wait a minute, isn't that her? That is her. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. 
the hell is she doing? She's standing there. That's Ayaha chan. What's she doing? I could ask what's up. Okay. Fall out. Oh no! What is that? Captain Cop, change. Ayahachan. Eep. Ah. ah. Wait, this is... I'm gonna show everyone. Hey, wait! Ayachan? I should bring that back, shouldn't I? Please, Yagami san! Gotcha. Got it. Okay, you need for beans for a $3 super chat. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. He always uses the same uh, pair doing a fist bump super sticker. Thank you so much for the support, man. Crap, I screwed up. There we go. All right, it's chase time. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Catch the boy. Hold up. Do, do, do. The chase music. Catch that boy. Catch that boy. He innocently picked up a toy that a child should actually be using. Instead of a grown girl who works at a fucking bar. But, you know. Catch that boy. He innocently picked up a toy that's designed purposely for his age group. Hold up. Nice, I got the bonus coin. Dun, dun, dun. Bonus coin. What's weird is I've done many of these chases in the game, and not one chase up to this point have you ridden a skateboard like this one. So I'm wondering why this one is so unique and different that you could earn the coins, but the other ones you weren't able to do that. It's kind of weird. Fuck. I'm playing that organ. Dog, I, mean, I don't understand. Why aren't you just yelling to stop and throwing objects? Why doesn't he pick a bucket at the kid hit him right in the back of the head with a fucking... Oh, shit! And right in the back of the head with a metal bucket. That child deserves it. He's running with a toy in his hand. You gotta stop that child. Fucking balls. Hold up. All right, we're finally gonna catch him. Apprehend that child. Now break his arm, just locate his arm. Hold on. Oh, oh, sounds like a noodle. Oh, what are you going to me? Oh. <laughs> Come on, give it back, kid. Oh man. Here you go, mister. No way. What are you whining about? You think you can just take someone else's things? You little shit. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the woman that you took this from. You got that? You little rascals. Fuck. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wait. Is this thing... It's an ultra-rare Captain Cop stick. Captain Cop? I remember that name from before. Why would Ayaha-chan have this? Hey, I should say sorry to the lady, right? Yeah. Yeah, you go do that. I'll call her up right now. Yagami-san, uh, how'd it go? Hey, yeah, so I explained everything, and he gave it back. Woo! Thank freaking goodness. Hi, hi, lady. I'm sorry I didn't mean to. Oh, no. It's totally fine. I'm the one who dropped it. So, uh, do you like Captain Cop? Huh? Huh? Come on, don't be ridiculous. Ha ha ha. Oh, uh, it's a gift for someone. Really? Cool. 
does that mean? A gift? Seriously? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I want to give it to Kawaguchi-san, you know? Mm -hmm. Weren't you just in tears over that thing? And didn't it cost, what, 150,000 yen? You're just gonna give that to him? Uh, well, uh, the thing is... Uh... I actually, uh... Like Captain Ka. Huh? What? Really? Yeah, it's kind of my reason for living. Uh, I have every DVD in the series. Oh, and I have all the figures, too. But all I'm missing is the first Captain Cop super rare stick. Oh, she wants to get her hands on that super rare cop stick. I see. He was a little too brutish of a protagonist, so the writers killed him off quickly. Then a super handsome replacement came along. But I love the first one. He was so passionate. And after he died, his popularity really skyrocketed, and now he's the favorite in all the polls. <laughs> they stopped producing the sticks, and now it's gotten really hard to find. When I finally get my hands on it, I was like, wow, I'm vibing hard. So wait a minute. She wants to get her hands on the super rare Captain Cox, Co excuse me. Oh, Freddy and Slip, the super rare Captain Cop stick. And when she gets her hands on it, she wants to vibe it right hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? Oh. Sorry, I kind of sucked into the moment. Oh, you sucked it in all right. That a turn off for you? Nope. Of course not. <laughs> To each their own, right? Yeah, well, good. Hey, I thought you said before that you weren't into this stuff. <clears throat> I mean, it's embarrassing, isn't it? Like, the whole otaku thing is so not me, you know? Hmm. I mean, it is kind of out of left field. I've been into to tokusatsu and anime since forever. I was never the type of girl to read shoujo mangas. When I was a kid, I'd always play with all the boys. <clears throat> then the other girls would be like, Ayaha's a boy lover, she's a flirt, and then they stopped hanging out with me. How sad. Bunch of jerks. So in high school, I started to change up my style to be more trendy like the other girls. I started reading fashion magazines that I didn't even like and listening to pop groups that I couldn't care less about. The whole hip and stylish image, that was just my own henshin costume I made up to protect myself. I had no idea. The truth is, the whole party persona is a total lie. I don't have a boyfriend or even any friends. My favorite thing is sitting at home by myself and watching anime and tokusatsu. There are some days I look in the mirror and I hate who I am. Hold on. I think you deserve to be really proud of who you are. Huh? Yeah, geek culture is huge now. Are you kidding me? It's the complete opposite. In the modern day, she'd be lauded as a hero, a rebel of the internet. She'd be receiving awards. For being so brave, right? I feel a lot closer to you this way. In a way, I get to see who you really are, Ayaha-chan. You think so? Yeah. I do. Even at the bar, you shouldn't have to try so hard to hide who you are. I think you can show that side of yourself too, right? But everyone's got different hobbies. You said it best yourself, Ayaha-chan. To each their own, right? Uh. Uh. Imagine the conversation you could have had with those customers from last time if you didn't have to keep your hobbies a secret. Oh. Yeah, you're totally right. <clears throat> I should be proud of the stuff I like. That's how it ought to be. Yeah. I think so, too. I think the world is going to love the real Ayaha-chan. Thank you, Yagami-san. <laughs> All right. I don't care if everyone sees my nerdy side. I'm going to go hunt down the next collectible that I can find. In fact, my collectible radar is going off right now. Beep, boop. This way. Yikes. <clears throat> Yikes! The good news is that's another one of the girls whose missions are complete. Two down, two to go. I think we should just keep fucking going. I know I said I was going to alternate. I think we should just keep going because in an hour we just made great progress. Maybe we can actually finish all the girls bar shit today if we just focus on it. In the meantime, Jim has tipped me $20 and asked the following. Android or iPhone or you don't care? Honestly, it's not that I don't care. It's that I don't have enough experience to answer. Uh, I used to have a BlackBerry for a very long time. 
And then when I finally got rid of my BlackBerry about 10 years ago, I switched over and I got an iPhone. And since then, I've only had iPhones. I think this is probably my third one I've had. Um, and so I have zero, literally zero experience um, with Android. So I can't say, oh, Android is better or iPhone is better. Uh, I've only had experience with one of the competitors. So uh, that being said, uh, Jim, I, I have friends and I've known people over the years who've had Android phones and have told me many good things about them, that they really like them. They like the fact that it's not all proprietary shit for them, like Apple, you know, charging you $72 for a fucking charge cable and shit. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, what I would say is, um, overall, I think to each their own, if you like one, you like one, you like the other, you like the other. I don't think that there should be like a culture war between, you know, people who like one or the other. Personally, I've only had iPhones, I like them, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're perfect. There's a lot of shortcomings of an iPhone. You own an iPhone for like a year, two years, the battery fucking sucks. I don't know why the, the battery dies so quickly, but it really does. The battery life just goes right down the shit. So. And again, there's a lot of ease of use stuff that I really like about it. You know, so. Can't really say otherwise that I like one or dislike the other. What I like about this, you can kind of like accidentally hit two guys at once. Not even hit I was like the guard break happened. Look at that, I turned around and immediately did DDT on this asshole. Oh yeah? Puga says they're actually referencing a real series in Japan called the Space Sheriffs. Um, and it's a hybrid of two heroes from the series Kamen Rider, specifically Ichigo, the first and V3. I know Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider, there's a, the guys on motorcycles, but they wear helmets that make them kind of look like bugs or whatever. I've, I've seen Kamen Rider stuff. I've never watched the show, but I'm aware of its existing. Common Rider, isn't that actually part of, uh, or, or related to the Super Sentai series, which of course be then the Power Rangers and stuff like that? Weren't there crossovers between Common Rider and the Power Rangers slash Super Sentai at one point? I think there were. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue. 